It's International Women's Week and strong women abound here in Halton. A mother and daughter trying to bring surprise and delight with their new business are no exception. Nikki Wesley has those details. I'm here on a quiet street in Oakville where, at the beginning of the pandemic, an entrepreneurial mother-daughter team decided to fill a niche in the subscription box market. A box specifically made for teen and tween girls, the Ruby Crate. Heidi Avery realized there wasn't a Canadian subscription box option that would be appropriate for her 13-year-old daughter, Sienna. It left her with a question. If not now, when? Like this is the prime time to do it. People are home. And the other thing too with subscription boxes and e-commerce is like it has exploded over the last year, few months. And so we just said, you know, we need to capitalize on this market right now because people are at home. They can't go out and shop. You know, the idea of a sub subscription box is all about surprise and delight. So we curate the products. It gets delivered to your house. You open it, enjoy it, unbox it, share it, all that fun stuff. Realizing there's a huge difference between a 10 year old and a 16 year old, customers answer questions to help the pair tailor the boxes to each individual. So sort of develop this personal relationship with the customer versus just having it very, you know, you place your order and then you get something. Um, and we've, we've received so much great feedback from moms that that personal touch really is, is, it makes the difference. In a birthday box, you will receive a makeup eraser. A year long subscription has a quarterly delivery tailored to each season. Sienna leads the charge selecting style, self-expression and beauty items for each crate. The things that we are thinking of put and we put in the box and these people are like receiving and it's helping their self-esteem during COVID and everything. I think that is really important and it makes them feel special so it makes me feel really special too. Now there's a third generation that has inspired the Ruby Crate, Heidi's grandmother Ruby, for whom the company is named. She has been an inspiration not only to the business, but to sort of my life in general. Um, you know, she's no longer with us, but, um, you know, she she raised, you know, four sons while my grandfather was at war. She was a McGill grad. She was a dietitian by by trade. Um, and she really was all about um, sort of positivity and doing things for others. She had no ego. She really, um, it was all about how other people were living and, and how she could help them. It was serendipity that they launched the business on what would have been Ruby's 104th birthday. Working together has brought the pair closer, not something every mother of a teenage girl can say. She has taught me so much, like dedication, time and effort that you have to put into these things to actually get it up and running and make it work, which is inspiring because in the future I need to know these things, like going into college and high school. And I can't just go in thinking, oh, it'll be a breeze. Like, I don't have to do anything, right? Like, I, I know more things now, and I'm really grateful for that. To get in on the fun, go to rubycrate.ca. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.